There we go. So our Britney Spears makeover, and I can't wait because this is super fun. And Stacy looks obviously a lot like her, so this <laughs> is going to be an easy task. But one of the things that we're going to do is we're going to do that very sultry, smoky look that looks so good on her. And so I'm going to kind of go step by step, but we're actually going to first start with doing foundations. Yeah. So we're going to start with sculpting the face and then we're going to go into the eyes, her iconic eyes. And um, I love it because you've already kind of gotten the hair a little bit in place. So here we go. Okay. I am actually going to start with putting on Glow Savior. I love Glow Savior and because it's going to kind of give a little bit of that glow, <laughs> for lack of better words, uh, but it's also, it kind of makes the skin just shine a bit. And we really want, you know, we want to give her that, that beautiful, that beautiful look. Um, we're going to make the skin quite flawless looking as well. And of course, as a performer, you know, that makeup has to last. So I'm just applying this as her, obviously it's got sun protection and it also helps kind of even out the skin tone a little bit, I feel too. Okay. So now I'm going to go ahead and test the Perfecta Base Foundation because this is going to give that high coverage, flawless look. And I'm going to move your hair back just a little bit. And this is your skin tone's a little bit more on the golden side. And because Brittany is more, she kind of has that bronzy type of look, so we're really going to kind of rock that a little bit too. And I may make you just a little hint darker, but I want to test the, yeah. So just for purposes of on camera, I definitely want to take her a little bit warmer than what her regular skin tone, you know, the skin tone match is. And Perfecta Base is great because it has, it has that flawless type of look to it. And it comes out with the spatula, so it's just going to be nice and, nice and matte and high coverage. So you can see it's a little bit deeper. But what I'm going to do also is I'm going to take that darker foundation around the areas that I want to contour. And then I'm going to go in with a little bit of a lighter shade in the areas where we're going to highlight. It's going to cover up any little imperfections and get that skin looking flawless. And she has naturally a couple of little freckles, which is perfectly fine. So I'm going to grab the O2, so that was O3, I'm going to grab the O2, which is a little bit lighter, and I'm going to take that into those areas where I want to highlight and kind of blend those two together. So I'm avoiding the areas of under the eye because we're going to go in with some concealer. But the look for Brittany also is we're going to really kind of go in and add that glow back after, after doing the foundation. And you just kind of blend it out. And I'm going to blend it down into the neck a little bit as well, because obviously her neck is a lot lighter. Okay. The, so I'm going to take my, my little concealer brush and she does have a little, a little 
go to right there. Uh -huh. So that concealer brush helps with just really kind of dabbing the product on top. And we can go in and add a little bit more of flawless coverage. So that is, so Perfecta Base is the key. This is going to give you that nice matte flawless high coverage without that heavy kind of feel and so the next step I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use I'm going to use actually Luna skin shimmer and this one has there's four different colors but this one has the more of a silver, silvery, well, it's kind of a mixture of silver and gold. Um, and this one, I'm gonna take this over the foundation. I'm gonna take my finger as well to really just kind of pat that in. Because we really wanna start seeing this beautiful, glow come through. And you can even, you can take your finger if you want to apply it that way. And also I'm going to take this down the nose, which with Brittany we're really going to contour that nose, make those, she naturally has pretty wide set eyes and they're kind of downturned as well. And you have a little bit of that too, a little <laughs> bit of that little downturn. So we're gonna, that smoky eye works really well uh, for that look. And, and then also we're going to make, chisel the nose a little bit more and I want to bring that so you can start to see we're going to really kind of sculpt that face. That's what's going to make this look so pretty. Okay. And we'll go in. So it's going to be a little bit of a process. You know, being a pop star is not, <laughs> that's not an easy task. <laughs> so that is the Luna, Luna Skin Shimmer. And now I'm going to go in with the contour brush, the number two. And I'm going to also use the, there's a combination. Uh, the contour palette actually is going to be really nice to use for this look because her look is pretty chiseled. She doesn't wear a lot of blush either. So we're going to go in and I'm going to start sculpting the face now. We're going to see those cheekbones pop. London and Nagoya back into London. Those are, that is the, I love this combination of colors. To, and, and what I do also, instead of getting that streaky kind of look, just press it. Yes. Look at that. You can really see that. That's so pretty. Mm -hmm. Everybody needs a fabulous cheekbone. <laughs> <laughs> then we're going to take a little bit right up here into the forehead. Contour this. And of course, along the beautiful jawline as well. So we're going to sculpt that too. Really. So what I'm doing here, and this is just kind of, I think a makeup artist thing too, is you want to kind of use your brush and make it work for you. So what I'm doing is I'm holding my brush and I'm kind of pressing it on this side here. And what it does is it kind of fans it out. It makes it a little thinner. 
and it makes it a little easier to just kind of sculpt around. Um, and having those softer techniques is what's going to really kind of just help, you know, give you that beautiful sculpted kind of look right there. And so play around with that because this is, this is really uh, something that I see a lot of bad highlighting and contouring out there. <laughs> And you can really sculpt your face, have it be subtle, but see, there we go, right? You kind of like, none and here. Wow. So it's really, I know, right? <laughs> you just lost 10 pounds. <laughs> yeah. I love it. No diet, you get to eat a candy bar, it's all good. I love it. <laughs> okay, so then I'm going to take the Veil palette. And I'm dipping it on the side, just on the side here. On one side, actually. And I'm going to give that highlight a pop. So, yeah. It's looking pretty now. So I'm just taking a little bit of veil straight down the nose also and so we're going to go in again i'm going to go back with my contour palette and i'm going to start doing some contouring for the nose so i'm going to take the 15 brush my little 15. I'm going to take the London and Nagoya, just kind of dip those back and forth. Not a lot, just a little bit. And just pat that. And I'm going right onto the bridge. Right into this area here. Because we want to kind of slim down the nose a tiny bit. Again, so you can kind of see how it... Take a little bit right into this area here because we want to kind of slim that down a tiny bit. Okay. Do we see Brittany appearing? Okay, so we're going to take that right here. I'm going to take our, actually the C3 concealer and I'm going to tone down her lips a little bit too to get that really kind of muted look um, because we're, we're going to go in with a nudie lip and um, so that's going to help with just toning down the pinkiness and you're going to get that, that more nude. And Brittany's lips aren't that big either, so this is this is a good way to be able to kind of like redesign your lip when it's a little bit more nude because we're going to make it bigger. She's coming alive. I love it. Okay.
Daphne. Your lashes are long, Stacy. Great. Okay, so that's a little lash thickener. And then I'm going to do the bottom lashes right now and then do the top ones. And I'm doing jet mascara. I want to take, with the little 22 brush, I'm going to take this color Antigua, which is like a gold, gold shade, <laughs> a gold shimmer, and, and I'm going to take that right there. Brighten up that lid a little bit there, too. And I'm going to take my little small 13 brush and I'm going to take that into the inner corner. Cool. Let's do the lash on her. And I've got these fun. Ardell lashes. They're the faux mink ones. Let that dry for just a second. Open your eye for me. So the final look is just going to be doing the lips. But we've got pretty much, I think Brittany has entered the building. <laughs> yes, I think she has. <laughs> so I'm going to use Sable Brown as her lip. And let's grab my lip brush. And I'm going to try, since it is Brittany, we're going to use the Cara Innocence <laughs> lip, lip mat. Right? Let's bring the girl back. Which is a bit more of a nudie color, too. I love it. And then I am going to finish it off with a little bit of Dorado. So she needs a little gloss on there to give it a little sparkle. Oh yeah. Oh, I like that. That is beautiful, right? Okay. <laughs> Here's Brittany. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> yes. 